Hey everyone and welcome to Adventures by D. Today we're at Zoo Atlanta and we're checking out all the new stuff. Like behind us they have a whole new elephant sanctuary. It is amazing. So what are you most looking forward to today? Everything. Everything. And it's a Mother Sunday. So I'm not hungry. Sunday but Mother Sun Day. He's Monday. saying he's hungry. Then we're gonna enjoy yourselves at the zoo at Zoo Atlanta, which is one of the oldest zoos in the United States. So join us on our zoo adventure. First up, after you enter the zoo and you see the flamingos, they're routing you to the African savanna. So let's show you what's here. So they have this area blocked, so they're controlling the way you walk. Very interesting. Definitely was not this way at the Chattanooga Zoo. I will link to that video below so you can see what the Chattanooga Zoo looked like. They sure did. So this is where the warthogs were, right? Yeah. And now, we have the elephant, so they moved the elephants over here from back there. Yeah. Now the rhino is back there. Interesting. But I didn't see the rhino out, did you? I didn't yeah. And look, meerkats in restrooms ahead. So they definitely have this rerouted totally differently. Meerkats used to be right here, right, Dean? To the left? Yeah, there's a building. Oh, sanitation station if you need it. So I will say with the direction controlled, it's hard to know which way to walk. But they need to go on this side. Look at the elephant. Here, hold on a second. I can just get right here, bud. Look at the elephant enjoying some food. They have social distancing areas. If you want to view, you stand in a box. This whole area is new, the elephant area, and it looks amazing. Dean was just saying it reminds him of the San Diego Zoo and their setup with elephants. Beautiful. He's going somewhere. Yeah. Maybe going around the back? There's a waterfall. Looks like there's an elephant center too. I don't know if it's open right now. Well, I think we have to go through there. Oh yeah. And I wonder what this is. It's kind of mysterious. Yeah. And just off the elephant area is the meerkat area. They relocated these guys too. And this habitat looks a little better because it looks like there's some shading and stuff for yeah, them over it's here. Bigger. Yeah. It's right back there. Just one. We think the rest might be sleeping. Oh wait, I see another one. It's hard to see. It's on the um, logs. It's on the bottom of the set of logs. Do you see it? It's moving. Yeah, well, there's another viewing area. Okay, let's go see. Here, cats. They have the lines here to view so you can wait your turn. Then they have the boxes. Oh! Oh my gosh, I knew one of them at least had to be on duty, right? Oh yeah, I guess Look at them. Oh my gosh, yes. So in the last habitat, there were two different families and they were divided by a wall. You remember that? And they could see each other. Yeah. I don't know here. We'll have to see if there's a family over here too. Oh yeah, I think you're right. I think it's oh, there's a different one over there. But they could see each other through the wall. But their whole area, they... Oh. Oh, <laughs> Look, one's near the pumpkin. You see him? Oh, he's checking out the camera. He's checking it out. He's checking it out. Superior watcher. Yeah, so here's the other family. And they can see each other through a little window 
right here between the habitats, but they're more secluded than the last one. This is really nice. They've done a great job. They're peeking at each other. Slender tailed meerkat. Hello. So that's a great you see here something. That's really cool. We're about to enter the elephant room, entering through one door, exiting through another. So it's an indoor viewing area. Look at this, a high touch area where disinfecting area frequently, but for your protection, please sanitize your hands after you touch things. They have stuff for kids to interact with. Wow, look at this. So if they bring them inside, here's their area. That's, this is so nice. I'm so glad they did this. What is Zoo Atlanta, 40 acres, Dean? Is that what you saw? Yeah, so it's not, you know, compared to like a San Diego Zoo, it's not very big. For kids, it's very doable to do it in a day. Uh, there is one area that's a little bit of a walk up and down in a pathway, but other than that, I love to come here with the kids. Look at that. Look at that elephant just hanging out. So we noticed there's a lower area and then up here there's an upper area for elephants. This is a beautiful facility. Here's more of those walkways that are controlling the way you walk. So they're funneling everyone in the same direction. And while I like that, it's also difficult to, because you have to maneuver around people in a, people in a smaller space. So what bird is this? The Cory Bustard. We were curious where the savanna was. It's kind of sort of in the same place, but not really. They kind of moved it out some. And they have, what, zebras, giraffes. They have different types of like antelopes and stuff too, if we can find it. The rhinos used to be in here, but the rhinos now are separated in the old elephant habitat. So say zebras, ostriches, and giraffes. Oh, there's one giraffe. Yeah, so you can pay to feed the giraffe. Look at He's ready. Yes. Look at that. Mmm. Looks delicious. Keep, please keep moving, it says. Giraffe feeding. Three dollars to feed the giraffe between 9.30 and noon. Oh, there's the elephant right there, Dean. You wanna go down or should we go right here? It's hard. Did it just leave? It's kind of hard to see, huh? Yeah. The elephant's right there, eating. Well, they're calling numbers to feed the giraffe. What? Okay. I have to say, this is very hard to navigate. As is with the animals, no one really pays attention. So ostriches, giraffes, and zebras. So they've definitely changed what was in here. Yeah, they had the rhinos. 
Yeah, it is smaller. Give it a minute. Look at the elephant here. The manhole covers themed and we can't we're about to head towards the gorillas zoo atlanta has the biggest gorilla population and they have a lot of conservation with the gorillas this viewing area from this deck is amazing And then if the indoor viewing area is open, sometimes they congregate by that window there. They probably like smashed a pumpkin and started eating it. Cause some, they're eating something over there too. Look at little baby, he's got something. Playing with. I thought it was pine cones. Do you think it's pumpkin? Oh, they're they're holding something orange. Yeah. At them, yeah, I think they're just playing with the leaves. Here's one right here, hanging out. That one has a banana. Or it looks like a banana. See it back there? Oh wait. Oh yeah, back there. Oh no, I think he's using straw. It did look like a banana. They just kind of hang out. It's amazing. It's kind of inspected. Yep. And you're so close to them. Maybe it's not straw. Maybe it's like yucca or something. Or sugar cane, maybe? Or yeah, I don't know. I like that. Yeah, it's something. It's kind of plant, like a yeah. plant. Now we're heading into the living tree house. This was one of Dean's favorite. It has what type of monkeys in here, Dean? This isn't a monkey, but oh, there's lemurs. Yeah, lemurs and then it's a bunch of birds. birds. And you have to watch when you're going in so you don't let any of them out. Look how close the lemurs are. So he's here when he's 60. Got some down on the ground. Everybody's like jumping around, having a great time. Except, uh, Some those, are sleeping. Those guys are tired. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, we think those are heaters they're in front of. That would make sense. One's down there too. There's three down there actually. <laughs> you see that? He's just like, ah, oh, more. Did you, did you get that on camera? One of them, darlings. Look at this. They even have flamingos down here now. Those aren't flamingos, they're from Florida. Those are ibises. You gotta be kidding me. They're ibises? But they're the color of flamingos? They're red. They're red ibis. You know what those are. They have beautiful birds in here. This one here, Dean, he would stand in here for 30 minutes staring at all these birds trying to identify them all. Right? Birds. Look at the yellow one here, it's beautiful. Where? Oh yeah, orange bird. There's some black birds. Beautiful. They're making a pretty big nest. Yes they are. I'll have to see what else we can see. 
Oh, look right here, Dean. There's a colorful one right Superb here. Starling. Superb Starling. I have to say, I think I have three or four favorite things about Zoo Atlanta. Number one, we're in it, the aviary. It's so peaceful and they have so many different types of birds. Literally, when Dean was younger, we'd stand in here for 30 minutes so he could identify every bird. The other thing for me would be the pandas because, oh my gosh, Fuzzy. it's amazing to see pandas in person and to see the baby pandas born and to watch them grow. Yeah, when they pooped in front of us. Yes, they that did poop really in front funny. of us one time. Um, the other is the gorilla exhibit because Monkey. Zoo Atlanta has the biggest gorilla and I believe orangutan exhibit. And they do a lot with conservation. Well, they have the biggest gorilla and orangutan population in the U.S. In a concentrated area, I guess. And then I'm going to say number four for me. It's a toss-up between all the other birds in the areas and the new African um, savanna area with for the elephants and the meerkats. Amazing. They did a great job. People are taking these beautiful pictures of these beautiful birds. What is that one there, the blue? with the, the roller. It was in the first exhibit. Same kind of bird. And they're just all just talking to us and flying by. Oh, look who's back, Dean. What's the name of this one again? Spin the wheel? I don't know. What is it? White headed buffalo weaver. White headed buffalo weaver. So they're probably weaving a nest. There's two. One was talking to the other. We figured out it was in a nest. But they love the camera. They're not camera shy. It's just like beautiful in here. So Dean, what did you think of our trip to Zoo Atlanta? It was great. Fantastic even. <laughs> it was a good time. I'm so impressed with the new elephant exhibit. The, uh, what? Meerkats? Yeah. And we didn't see the warthogs, but we saw they had a new exhibit. Yeah, they do. And uh, similar to our experience at other places, we have been to the Chattanooga Zoo the Georgia Aquarium and the Tennessee Aquarium. And um, great social distancing signs, but people don't necessarily follow them because they're so entranced with looking at the animals that you really have to watch out for people. So just know that if you come to any of these things. And you know, look at our playlist. We have all things aquariums and zoos, right? Yeah. And we're gonna be back to the Georgia Aquarium soon because they have sharks now. Listen to the bird talking. And the Zoo Atlanta has a great amount of uh, aviary exhibits. Yeah. Right? All the birds. Lots of birds, lots of different birds, very colorful birds. So what was your favorite thing today that you did? Uh, stuff. Come on. What's the favorite thing you did? Everything. Was it the aviary? Was it the elephants? What was uh, it? I liked looking at the animals. All the animals. So with that, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get videos just like this one and check out our playlist and all things aquariums and zoos we're going to be adding a lot of content we're members so we're going to come back a lot and share various aspects of the zoo and the other zoos and aquariums in the area we have some awesome ones here in atlanta don't we yes yes he's a huge fan of the uh, georgia aquarium and the tennessee aquarium and with that, I'm gonna say bye. Anything you wanna say? No. All right, and may the adventures be with who? I don't know. Come on. Who? And may the adventures be with who? Y
You. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell. So you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.